Okay, I've tested from the substation, which is our system neutral, to our ground, it's in the ground, to test the resistance of the, uh, of the ground. So, uh, and it's up to 500 ohms, and um, we're going to uh, fix it. Once I determine the resistance, now I'm going to uh, find this old rod, um, and we're going to we're going to uh, drive it on down a little deeper, and uh, and try to make it better. And we'll keep testing it as we go deeper and deeper. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Back in the day, they put clamps, but uh, when we get done with this, we're going to weld a new piece of copper to the top of the ground when we get done. We're going to drive this on down, test the ohm readings on it, and uh, make it good. Okay, let's uh, let's take this clamp off, and we'll add a a coupling to be able to add to. Not bad shape, considering how old. If you can see, there's uh, there's green inside of this, the copper that's been on here for so long, it gets corroded up. Uh, I have seen this be the reason why the ground wasn't good. Let's test this one more time. So I'm on the ground, and I'm also on the neutral. And we'll see what we got. 500 plus, it's actually maxed out. Main thing is you wanna set right up on top of your old ground. Um, you know, we have locates and stuff, you know, I could drive a new one, but you don't have them on line trucks. <laughs> Uh, so we're ready to see what we can do with this. We just added 10 feet to this ground. So let's see what kind of resistance we have now. Just 10 feet, we're below 400. So, let's add 10 more, see what we got. And it's about the same. Maybe a little lower. Let's add some more. There's 30 feet. We better keep adding. Okay. That's 40 feet. Whoa, we're getting better now. 200 now, we're down to 200, so I bet Next couple more, we'll have a good ground. Oh boy, we're getting better. We're at 60 ohms. I've drove so many grounds around here, and 14, 15 counties, I can pretty much tell you how deep you're gonna have to go. There's 60 feet added to theirs. We got it. 60 feet, 12 ohms. Big difference in 500 plus. Really didn't cost that much to do that. 
Uh, really didn't take that long to do that with the right equipment. Uh, didn't have a bunch of man hours in it. And the best thing about this, later on, they can change this pole out and this ground's still gonna be good. Okay, this clamp that I originally pulled off that was corroded up, well, they'll be replaced with CAD welds. A uh, little bit more expensive, but it will always be, it'll never do this, it, it welds the copper to the rod. Uh, it will always be good. But um, I'm gonna add a new piece of copper to this because that's been in the ground so long, it's kind of corroded up. Uh, and I'll leave a little extra so that the, uh, the crew that comes up later years that changes the pole, they'll have a little slack. Or pole treaters that treats the pole, um, I leave a little slack in the copper so they can get around and work around the pole. Uh, and this bond that I was telling you about, everything will be hooked to it. The, the, the phone, the, uh, the, you know, cable TV, all this stuff, all this runs in your house, okay? This is a different day and age we live uh, with, you know, all this stuff we have today, you know? When, when we grew up in uh, Evil Knievel days and no air condition and, uh, yeah, I was there. Okay, let's, uh, Let's cut this off below the ground. Okay, I'm gonna add a piece of copper to this, a new piece. Uh, I believe in these more than the, uh, the little clamps like this. This is your phone connected to our bond to the system, which is connected to this ground. But we also have these things and they're good, but this is a for sure deal. Always like to try to clean it up and make it look nice. Uh, the next guy that comes along here, he won't be getting confused on what's what. Um, I'll put some staples in that to hold that. Okay, we're ready to do some CAD weld. You don't want them to get wet. They blow up. <laughs> now we have our phone line there, so I'm gonna try to protect it um, from any heat that it might be exposed to. Um, we all try to work together to look out for each other's stuff. Okay, copper goes in, top of the rod. Um, it's got a little metal plate. Got your cover. And then we have gunpowder. Cad weld powder or whatever you wanna call it. Okay. Okay, we want to protect that phone line and uh, best we can. Now we'll let that cool off and uh, we'll break this ceramic housing out from around it in a minute to make sure we got a good connection to the uh, rod itself. 
I'm gonna put a little water on that to uh, let it kind of cool down just a little bit. Cause it's still like thousands of degrees. All right, we'll get to see what it looks like now. Look at there. Welded right to the rod. Um, I was taught that uh, lighting does not like curves. When you come down off the pole, I try to make a straight shot or a slow loop to the rod, uh, not no big major turn, because uh, you want lighting to go to that ground. Uh, and I know I will not be back to this location. Oh, uh, every uh, every pole that has a, jet, a driven ground uh, is a Jeep. We started out 500 ohms. This G uh, represents a driven ground under 25 ohms. Uh, There is some locations that you cannot get a ground, but there's some locations you can drive them 200 feet and you're not gonna get a ground. There's places that uh, rock, there's rocks down there bigger than my truck in some places in Gainesville. And uh, if you hit that rock, you, you do the best you can do, you know, but uh, but this area around here, I can get a ground. Uh, it's down there. We added uh, 60 feet to what was already there. Uh, and it was, you know, 500 ohms. So that's gonna protect you tremendously, I, I know. Never been back to the same place twice.